Forget reaching for a regular old soda pop when you can quench your thirst with a boozy soda instead. Yes, the hard soda market is growing with $116 million in sales in 2015. So here to tell us what all the fuss is about is WSJ's Charles Passy with the Weekend Sip. Hi, Charles. Pleasure to be Great here to as see always. You. So when did this hard soda trend kick off? Well, really last year, I would say, was kind of the year of the hard soda. I mean, it had been bubbling, no pun intended, <laughs> for a few couple of years before that. But last year, it sort of broke through. And it broke through primarily with root beer, a root hard beer. root beer um, seemed to be the thing. I don't know. There's something about root beer, I guess, because it's got a lot of flavors and a lot of things like that. It seemed to lend itself to alcohol. But now, of course, it's sort of spreading beyond that. And who is the demographic that this is being marketed to? Interestingly, it is Generation X. Huh. We hear a lot about millennials, millennials, yeah. millennials. I'm not a millennial, so I tend to ignore that. But, but, but here's the deal. Millennials are the juice box generation. Gen X is the soda generation. And that's why you want to market gotcha. boozy soda now that they're grown up. To so them. they're the ones buying this and drinking it right. and, and liking it. Right. So you brought something with you. Tell us about this. OK, so this is Henry's Hard Soda. This is Miller Coors, which is one of the biggest beer makers in the world. This is their attempt to now come into the market. And they've done it in their own way. Um, they've done it with two different flavors. First of all, they branded it Henry's Hard Soda after some strange 19th century brewer who promised to run beer through the public's water fountains or something like he that. He clearly it's, liked to have a good time. He liked to have a good time. So they've branded it and they've decided to go out and set up with a root beer, which has been the dominant flavor in the market. They've done an orange and a ginger ale. And these are both. Things. And what kind of alcoholic content are we looking at here? Is this similar to a beer? Yeah, pretty mild. We're okay. talking 4.2%. That's right. really like what you'd get in a light beer. I mean, these are not, they're not going to knock you out of your right. seat when you drink them. They're supposed to be quote unquote sessionable, meaning you could have more than one. Right. All right. But Charles, we know that you are a serious drinker. Mm. So what do you make of this stuff? Well, you know, I will tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. Mm. Um, you know, is this the kind of thing that if you're looking to have a refined taste of something, you know, smell pine nuts and cedar or something like that? No, no, no. This is not that kind of a drink. But it is not bad for what it is aiming to do. All so right, let's, let's give try, it a shot. Let's try. This We're is the orange, obviously. Orange so, soda. Okay. Cheers. Hmm. It's funny, it tastes like orange soda with a little bit of a beer kick. Yeah, you know there's what I just mean? a little bit of an edge of alcohol yeah. on top of it. Um, you know, I like the fact that, at least for my taste buds, I, I thought this would be aggressively sweet, like some wine coolers are. Right. And it's actually kind of just, it's kind of like a good orange soda. I have to be honest, I've never been a beer drinker. Right. I don't really enjoy beer. I like this better than a beer. Well, you know, if you're if you're part of the soda generation, <laughs> yeah, this there, is for you then. There, so, you, anyhow, go. there this, you go. This one's for me, Charles right, Passage. Thank you so much for that.